more you use, the less you live. It will destroy your dreams. It will destroy yourself. It will destroy everything. Do not harm yourself, Keith. Do not use drugs. You're too young to suffer and die. Curiosity isn't enough reason for you to risk your life. It will change you to someone you'd never like. Would you take the risk? Even if it affects everyone. And everything? Addiction. Anxiety. Hallucination. Unstable behavior. And possible death. These effects are caused by illegal drugs. Several people around the world are very addicted to illegal drugs. 85% of the prison population has an active substance use disorder or were incarcerated for a crime involving drug or drug use. The question is, what is drugs? and why they are so many people around the world are very addicted to illegal drugs. Drugs are substances that can change a person's mental or physical state. They can affect the way your brain works, how you feel and behave. Your understanding and your senses, this makes them unpredictable and dangerous, especially for the young people. 1. Can abuse a drug without having an addiction. But abuse can lead to addiction. Substance abuse is characterized by the destructive use of a drug, leading to problems in their user's everyday life. Performance at work or school suffers and legal or financial problems arise as a result of the drug use. Addiction is defined as a chronic relapsing disorder, characterized by compulsive drug seeking, continued use despite harmful consequences, and long-lasting changes in the brain. Change the brain in a way that makes quitting hard even for those who wants to. Unfortunately, researchers know more than ever about how drugs affect to the brain and have found treatments that can help people recover to the drug addiction and lead pro productive lives. Quit drugs. Choose life. Here are the tips for preventing substance use and abuse. Number one. Understand how substance abuse develops. Substance abuse starts by using addictive drugs, illicit or prescribed, for recreational purposes, seeking out intoxication every time you use, abusing prescription medication. 2. Avoid temptation and peer pressure. Develop healthy friendships and relationships by avoiding friends or family members who pressure you to use substances. It's often said, we become most like those we surrounded by ourselves. Meaning, if you surround yourself with people who abuse drugs and alcohol, you are m more likely to as well. Peer pressure is a major part of life for teens and adults. If you are looking to stay drugs free, develop a good way to just say no. Prepare a good excuse or plan ahead of time to keep from giving in to peer pressure. Seek help for mental illness. Mental illness and substance abuse often to go hand in hand. Are dealing with a mental illness such as anxiety, depression, or post-traumatic. Traumatic stress disorder you should seek professional help from a licensed therapist or counselor. A professional will provide you with a healthy coping skills to alleviate your symptoms without turning to drugs and alcohol. Examine the risk factors. Look at your family history of mental illness and addiction. Several studies have shown that their disease tends to run in the family, but we can be prevented. The more you awake to your biological, environment, and physical risk factors, the more like you were 
to overcome them. Number five, keep a well-balanced life. People often turn to drugs and alcohol when something in their life is missing or not working. Practicing stress management skills can help you overcome these life stressors and will help you live a balanced and healthy life. Develop goals and dreams for your future. This will help you focus on what you want and help you realize that drugs and alcohol will simply get in the way and hinder you from achieving your goals. Share this for avoiding and preventing substance abuse with your friends and family and help promote a healthier lifestyle free from addiction. Don't start. We prepared to all of you this advocacy brochure we made. And we are here to share and discuss it. Here are the common types of drugs typically abused by users. Stimulants, depressant, narcotics, cocaine, hallucinogens, and cannabis. Drugs abuse can affect several aspects of a person's physical and psychological health. Certain drugs can lead to drowsiness and slow breathing, while others may cause insomnia, paranoia, or hallucinations. Chronic drug use is associated with cardiovascular, kidney, and liver diseases. 47% of men in the world are addicted to illegal drugs. And 34% of women in the world are addicted to illegal drugs. Illegal drugs has a big effect to us. Drugs can affect our health, job, family, and everyone. Drugs can cause depression, anxiety, panic disorder, increased aggression, paranoia, and hallucination. Drug addiction symptoms and behavior include, among others, Number 1. Feeling that you have to use the drug regularly, daily, or even several times a day. Number 2. Spending money on the drug even though you can't afford it. Number 3. Not meeting obligations and work responsibilities or cutting back on social or recreational activities because of drug use. Number 4. Taking larger amounts of the drug over a long period of time than you intended. Number 5. Continuing to use the drug even though you know it's causing problem in your life or causing you physical or psychological harm. Number 6. Doing things to get the drug that you normally wouldn't do, such as stealing and doing other risky activities when you're under the influence of the drug. These are five actions to prevent the person from falling deeper into their addictive ways. Communicate before seeking therapy. It's important to help someone on the verge of becoming an addict realize the type of behavior being displayed is dangerous. Many addicts don't believe what they are doing is wrong often. They use drugs as a, as a way to solve a problem, such as the ones described above. Seek therapy. People will, will first begin to experiment with the drug before they regularly use it. Help someone before they become an abuser. First talk with, with the addict and help them understand that recreational use can turn into dependency. Then help them recognize that therapy is the best form of treatment. 3. Maintain a happy, healthy lifestyle. Part of therapy includes helping addicts understand there are alternative ways to solve issues. For example, instead of turning to drugs to manage depression, a professional can help an addict replace drug usage with passion like sports or art. By focusing more on their hobbies, an addict is less likely to jeopardize their life or others by using illegal substances. Deal with pressure. Deal with pressure along with replacing drug addiction with hobbies. A professional should help eliminate stress. This is important because stress could be not only one of the reasons they became an addict, but also factor that would cause them to relapse.
Look in the past. According to a study, 40 to 60 percent of the risk of developing an addiction in due to generic. Other su studies have pointed out that the risk may higher for strong substances such as an nicotine or cocaine. If a close relative such as a parent has drug addict abuse problem, their son or daughter is also a right risk candidate of developing similar health issue. If you know a parents or struggling with substance abuse during National Recovery Month, call Fairwinds Treatment Center. Put it out. Before. It puts you out. Say no. To drugs. No. No. Never. Don't. Don't try illegal drugs. Think about the consequences. Say no to drugs. It doesn't just affect your life. It affects everyone and everything.